Hey guys, have you ever gotten a knife in that you thought you were not going to like? And then you did. That's what happened with this guy. This is a best tech. Strelit? Strelite? Strelit, I think. So what I'm going to call it. It's a Strelit. And this came from a pass-around group I'm in. And I signed up for it because it was unique, interesting. I figured I wouldn't like it, but I thought it might get some views. Okay, honestly, I got this one for the ratings. <laughs> um, which I typically don't do. I, I like to show all the knives, but I don't typically just... I mean, you know, whatever. I... I could do a lot better on YouTube if I was more into the business side and growing the channel and using all the buzzwords and, you know, doing all the stuff that all the bigger channels have told me to do to grow the channel. Um, but I'm kind of lazy and I just, I just kind of do my thing. Okay. Would I like the channel to grow? Absolutely. And it is growing, but very slowly and all of my friends that started after me are much bigger than me, but we won't go there. I also don't ramble for 20 minutes doing an unboxing, and I don't ramble for 30 or 40 minutes on every video. So I, I just, I'm different, but it, that's beside the point. I did get this one because I thought it would be interesting, and I did want to check it out. But I never thought I would actually like it. So it came in the last week, and I've been handling it, carrying it around the house. And the more I handle it, the more I really like it. To the point where I have been looking online and these are still available. These are, these are a newer model for this year, 2021. It is the best tech. They are available. They're on a lot of different sites. Knife Center has them um, and several other sites. Knife Center is just the top one that comes to mind. And they're in that eh, 200-ish dollars. I think it's $196 on Knife Center right now. I did find a website that has a Damasteel bladed version with black titanium. I'm not going to mention the website because I think I'm going to order that one. <laughs> because it's very cool. Okay, it is small. It is the perfect... For me, it would be a great fifth pocket knife. Okay, and I don't typically carry a knife in the fifth pocket. We've talked about that. I've had other small knives that would work in that pocket, but I just, I typically don't. This is a flipper and it is a push dagger. Okay, it opens halfway. Has this nice hawkbill blade. This one is in S35VM. There is a Damascus versions out there, and I think I saw some M90 versions, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we'll zoom out a little bit so you can really get a feel. It feels so amazing in the hand. Like, it's it's just there. This could really be a good defensive tool. And it would be great at opening boxes as well. Gives you a lot of leverage. You could use this as a utility type of knife. Okay. Okay. One of the very cool things about it is it does run on bearings. Okay, that's not the cool thing. But it, it flips okay. It's a little awkward because it's small. So it, when you just, you know, pick it up off of the ground, it, it's you got to kind of get your hand in position to flip it. Okay? But it works like the Emerson Wave feature right here in your fifth pocket. I didn't even realize that until I put it in my pocket and I went to pull it out to see how the clip was and it immediately opened. I mean, it just, it almost, in your fifth pocket, you almost can't help but open it as you pull it out. Like it, it it's, you, you can't pull it from your fifth pocket without it opening almost. And when you do that, your hand is pretty in a good position as it comes out of your pocket, as you kind of reach in and gap it. Your hand is in a pretty good position to just palm it, if you will. So we'll go over some of the specs. It's not, it, it's, it's, I don't know, it's not like normal, but it's three and one eighth closed. 
it's technically three and a quarter overall if I measure this dimension. The blade from the edge of the scale, let me zoom in so you can actually see because it is so small. The blade, if I measure from the edge of the scale to the tip like I normally would, is 2.9 inches, 2.18, and the edge is 1.3. Like I said, this one is S35VN. Blade thickness is 0.136. Overall thickness is 0.458. It does run on bearings, so it's super smooth and it lightning fast, and it weighs in at 1.8 ounces. So it's super light, you forget that it's in your pocket. They do have several different scale material, or not materials, uh, finishes. This is kind of a bronze. They have it in black, stone wash. They have it in just, you know, regular titanium. Um, I think there's a two-tone one I saw. Maybe it had an inlay. There's a whole bunch of different variations, which makes it kind of cool. Okay. Now, I don't normally do... Um, cutting tests or anything like that on my channel. But I wanted to just show you here on a piece of paper just how kind of useful it is. It really just kind of pops in and with no effort at all, it just cuts. It's sharp. There's literally no effort. Now, granted, this one is has been passed around a group so it's not maybe as sharp as it could possibly be but you could sharpen this up and it is going to do some damage if you so chose to use it as a tool in a defensive type of situation I think it's very cool I, I just, I don't know. It is single-edged, so there's no legal issues there. You want to definitely check your own um, knife laws and whatnot. I don't know what the rules are on a push dagger like this. But I don't know. It's something that I really didn't want to like. I didn't think I was going to like it. And it turns out that I'm actually very much considering buying one because I could absolutely see putting this and carrying it in a fifth pocket. I, I just, I could, I definitely could see carrying this. I don't think it's a gimmick. I, I carried karambits before and I never got them. I mean, I just, it was awkward for me. It wasn't a thing I wanted to carry. This, I think, for me, has more utilitarian and more use case than a karambit. Now, I know all of you knife fighter and, you know, martial artists and edge weapons guys are telling me that, that you know, you're cringing because the karambit is the thing. Um, and you're probably right. What do I know? I'm just some knucklehead on YouTube. But for me personally, this could be my secondary knife. And it has some very distinct defensive tool uses as well as some utilitarian uses. So I don't know. I am looking at possibly buying myself one. Um, we'll do a couple of size comparisons. I'm not really sure. But just to give you a an idea, that's the Sharpie, of course, um, and the Delica that's really dirty because I've used this to open up some of the last boxes. Um, here is the Mylia uh, Skag CJRB, which is also a small fifth pocket-ish knife um, that also has been used for unboxing, so it's a bit dirty. Um, you know, so I don't know. I guess we can show you next to the AD20, just so you have an idea. I think it's very cool, um, and it's certainly something that surprised the heck out of me um, in terms of me liking it. I don't know. It's something cool that for 200 bucks ish 
you know, in that 169 to 200, I've seen them all over the place in that, that price range. I think it's something that I'm going to add to my collection just because of the unique and discussion factor. And maybe I will carry it as more of a defensive tool or whatnot because I think it's kind of cool. And yeah, there you go. I don't know what else to say. I think it's very cool. I think it has its, you know, uses. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's way cool. And I'm glad I got to check it out. So um, don't judge a book by its cover, I think is my 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 you know moral of the story if you will i thought it looked silly i thought there's no use for it um and then once you get it in hand and you handle it and you carry it around i think you really understand so again that's why i kind of run the channel because i showed things anywhere from the 20 dollar price range the 40 dollar kubis to the you know five six seven ten thousand dollar custom because there's something for everybody. And by me showing you something like this, maybe you'll go search it out. Maybe you'll fall in love with it and you'll buy one. And I'm not trying to sell anything. I've never tried to sell anything or whatnot. Like, I don't care if you buy one or not. I just, you know, maybe as you're searching for that, you'll find some other knives that will spark your interest. And just, you know, my opinion is, if you're mildly interested, check it out because I'm glad I did. So thanks for watching, everybody. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I really do. So um, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.